Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we will be understanding one very important concept of Microsoft project, which is called as the task type or the activity type. So basically MSP offers three kinds of task types, which is nothing but your fixed duration, your fixed units and fixed work. So depending on the type of task, the assignment of your resources will be influenced very, very much. Like for example, if there is a task which is of fixed duration kind, then if you add the resources, it will behave in a different fashion. Similarly, if a, diff a different task is there, which is a kind of fixed work type, then when you assign some resources to that particular task, it will behave in some different fashion. So that is why it is very much important for you to understand the concept of task type before we dive into into the topic of assignment of the resources. So for your uh, convenience, I have taken three tasks. One is A, B and C. A is fixed duration type, B is fixed units type and C is fixed work type. So before we move on with the topic, I would just like you all to understand that what is duration, what is units and what is work. See, duration is very simple. Like for example, this is particular activity, which is A, it is of 10 days. And the uh, calendar that I have taken in this particular uh, project is some uh, very standard calendar, which is your eight hours per day work and Monday to Friday it will go on. So 10 multiplied by eight will be your 80 hours. So the duration for this particular task will be 10 days or in terms of hours, we can say 80 hours. Okay. So duration is nothing but the span or length of the activity in terms of days or hours or anything. Okay. I hope it's clear. Moving on to units. For units, I'll just describe uh, with the help of an example. Suppose if I add one resource, see, I have created two resources for this particular project. One is Mason and one is Helper. I'm assigning one resource of Mason to this particular task. Now you see in units, 100% has come automatically. So this 100%, if we convert it into a normal integer, it will come one. 200% will come two. So this one 100% means there is only one mason. So units basically describe the number of your resource. If it is 700%, then that means that that particular resource is seven in number. If there are 700% helpers, then that means that seven helpers are there. Okay. Now coming to work, you see the work has been shown here as 80 hours. So work is nothing but your duration multiplied by units, which means man hours or man days. If you multiply this 10 days with one, it will come one, uh, 10 man days. But if you convert these 10 days into hours, it, this is 80. So 80 multiplied by one will give you 80 man hours. So work is nothing but the man hours. If two missions are there, if I make it 200%, then your work should ideally be uh, uh, 20 man days or 160 man hours. So I hope you are thorough with these three terminologies. Okay, now moving on to some three formulas, which are nothing but same formula only just in different interpretations. Work is equal to duration multiplied by units. If you uh, want to make it in terms of duration, so duration will be work divided by units and units will be work divided by duration. These three formulas will be used throughout these videos. So I request you all to take a snapshot of this for the seamless session. Okay. Now, first of all, let us consider the fixed duration type of task, which is your task A. Okay, let's get started. So we have already assigned one mason. Let's see how this particular task will behave if I add one more resource to this particular task. Let's say mason is already working, but I feel like adding one helper to this mason so that some maybe some workload gets distributed. So whether we will see some workload gets distributed or no, whether the man hours of mason will decrease or no, we will see. So I'm just adding helper here to see the effects of this helper. I need to click on OK. But before I click on OK, I want you all to understand and analyze that what will happen if I'll add one more resource here. See, right now the duration is 10 days, but this is the type of uh, activity which is of fixed duration. So that means this 10 days will not change at any cost. You add 100 resources, 200 resources, 1000 resources, but this 10 days will not change. The activity will not get completed before 10 days or after 10 days. It has to get completed in 10 days, either with one resource or with two resource. If you will add two resource, the productivity will get reduced. Maybe Mason will work a little less productively. Helper will also uh, become less productive, but they will do the activity in 10 days only okay you see when i will add helper units will become 200 percent 
you know because 200% means two resources will be there no one mason will be there and one helper will be there so units will become two duration will remain 80 hours only so what will work become we'll go to the formula duration will remain 80 hours units will be two so 80 multiplied by 2, you will get the work as 160. So to get the work as 160, 80 should come in front of helper also. So we will see and we will click on OK. So it has taken 80 hours of work for helper also and 80 hours of work was already there for mason. So total of 160 hours of work is there which fits as per the formula. Okay, so that means that gives us a conclusion that for fixed duration activity, you add any number of resources, nothing will change. It will not affect the duration at all and it will take the work similar to what has been taken for the previous resource. So it is best to choose fixed duration kind of uh, task type for your activities. Okay, so this was the first case. I hope you all understood, but I just want you all to see the task usage sheet once for more clarity. I'll go to the task usage view and you see here earlier Mason was working for 80 hours 10 days that means 8 hours per day for 10 days he was working that gives us 80 man hours for Mason. Now we have added helper but the duration has not to be changed because the task type is fixed duration. So similarly for the complete task duration of 10 days now helper will also do 8 hours of work daily. Okay. So this is the concept of fixed duration. Now we will move to our Gantt chart and I'll open the detailed view. Now one second case in fixed duration. So for that, I'll delete this helper resource and now I'll modify some things related to your mission. Like I'll change the units, I'll change the duration, I'll change the work and we'll see what will happen. Okay, second case is now I'm increasing the units to 200 percent like right now one mason is there now i want two masons to be there in this particular activity so if i will increase the units to 200 percent the duration cannot change the duration will remain 80 hours only so go to the formula duration is 80 hours units has become two so work will become 80 multiplied by two again it will become 160 only that's it so simple i'll increase it to 200 and you see the work will become 160 hours See, the work has become 160 hours, but now here is the twist. Earlier, helper was there. Both were doing total 160 hours of work, but here only one mason will be doing 160 hours of work in 10 days. That means one mason will be working for 16 hours a day. The standard calendar timing is only eight hours. The mason will be doing kind of overtime. He'll be working twice the time. So that will increase the cost. The productivity will reduce because the same work that he was earlier doing in eight hours, he will do the same work in 16 hours because the activity is not com getting completed before 10 days. The activity is still getting completed in 10 days. Productivity of the mason gets reduced. The cost will get increased because of the huge working hours. Okay. So I hope you understand this. So I'm just pressing control plus Z and I'll, I'm uh, taking one more case now. Now in instead of increasing the units, what I'm doing is I'm changing the duration. Okay, so before changing the duration, I should tell you one very important thing about Microsoft Project C. Microsoft project is very loyal. If you have added one mason, no, it will not change the number of masons automatically. That means units, it will not change automatically. It will not allow two masons, three masons automatically. You are the only person, user is the only person who can change the number of units. That means number of resources, you can only change. Prime, uh, this Microsoft project does not have any kind of power or authority to do that, okay? So if I increase the duration, units are still one mason is still one duration i am doubling that means duration instead of 10 days i am making it 20 days that means 160 hours so what will happen nothing will happen simply your work will get doubled that's it same thing will happen no i'll just show you so i'll make it to 20 days so you see work has now become 160 hours okay so i hope you understood this now moving on to the final and last case for fixed duration i will increase the work now comes the final and last case for fixed duration. Now we will increase the work to 160 hours. See, I already told you units cannot change. So units will remain as 100%. That means only one mason will stay here. So if we go to the formula, we'll see if I increase the work to 160 and units are 100%, that means one. So ideally duration should become uh, 160 hours that means 
this 10 should become 20 but the twist is this task type is fixed duration type that is why the duration will not at all be affected i'll show you how i'll increase the work to 160 hours and i'll click on okay you see the duration has not changed so no matter how much work you increase here the duration will not change if you increase the work to 160 what will happen the mason is now working 16 hours every day for 10 days that's it the productivity of the mason has reduced the cost of the activity will get increased unnecessarily earlier this mason was working eight hours every day and doing the work in 10 days now the mason will work 16 hours a day and doing the work in 10 days so no point of increasing the work when the type of task is fixed duration okay i hope you are thorough with the fixed duration type of task now we are moving to the second type of task which is your fixed units okay so let us first assign one mason to this particular task and we'll click on okay see <clears throat> in fixed units the units will not change at all okay this thing should be very much clear now i'll do what i'll do is i'll add one more resource see right now mason is already working let's see if i increase one more resource like if i add helper here will it help or no so you'll see see here duration can be changed and work can also vary duration can also vary but one thing which i want you to understand is that msp has the tendency to touch the duration first suppose it has the freedom to change the duration as well as the work so what msp will do is it will first hamper the duration and then it will hamper the work okay if it has the choice it will always prioritize duration to get hampered we'll see how see helper has been assigned so that means units has now become two the units are now two because one mason is there and one helper is there we are ourselves increasing the unit msp is itself not increasing the unit we have added this helper resource so that is why the question should not come that sir the task type is fixed unit why the units are 200 percent because we ourselves are increasing the uh, resource msp itself is not making it to 200 percent so units is 200 percent we'll go to the second formula see units is two i told you that it will change the duration first so what will be the duration now work divided by units see if you will add no units has become doubled so for the units to double the work should also double and the duration should also double ideally this should happen no no sorry for duration units to double either work should double okay or the duration should reduce to half but what I told you, see, if I click on OK here, you see the units have become twice. The duration is same and the work is also still the same as it is. Why this happened is, see, if you go to the formula, you see work is 160 hours and your duration is 10 days. That means uh, 80 hours. So 160 divided by 80 will give you two. That is why there is no change. Okay, I hope you understand this. Now what I'll do is I'll just delete this particular resource from here helper. And I'll add one more resource. See from here also you can uh, delete your resources. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll move to the second case for fixed units. Now I'll uh, increase the units to 200% for this mason. See, I am myself increasing the units. So I already told you it will touch the duration first. If I increase the units, see, I'm doubling the units. So duration will become half. Okay. I'm doubling the units and I'm clicking on OK. You see, the duration has become half, but work has not changed. I told you it will first of all hamper the duration. It did the uh, it did hamper the duration first of all. So now what will happen is in five days the activity will get completed and the mason will be working 80 hours for complete five days that means every day the mason will be working 16 hours and now this is something productive i would say because the mason is working 16 hours and the work is also getting completed in five days so it is productive okay so i'll just make it back to 100 percent and now moving to the third case for fixed unit what is the third case now i'm increasing the duration to 20 days Okay, you see if I increase the duration to 20 days, what will happen? This is a fixed unit kind of activity. Unit will remain one only. Unit will remain one. Duration I am doubling. So work will double. That's it. Work will just double. I see I'm making it to 20. 
you see instead of 80 hours work has become now 160 hours okay i hope you all understood it so that means now the mason will be working eight hours each day for continuous 20 days okay now i'm just pressing control plus z now moving on to the last case for fixed units which is increasing the work to 160 hours now i am increasing the work units will remain same now the duration will vary see work is becoming now 160 hours and units is still one so duration will become 160 hours which means 20 days i am making it to 160 and i am clicking on okay so the duration has now become 20 days okay i hope this is clear to you all so this is all about fixed units kind of task now comes the last but not the least kind of task which is your fixed work which is very important because this type of activity should be chosen very carefully because it will hamper a lot of things you see how so first of all let me assign one mason to this and let me click on okay now see now if i assign one more resource which is your helper we will see what kind of changes will happen see the units will become two, but your work should become, should remain 80 because this is a kind of fixed work kind of activity. So what will happen? Duration will change. See, work is 80, units is two. So the duration will become 40. Duration will reduce to half. I'll click on OK. See, duration has become five days. Now in five days, the activity will get completed. Mason will work for 40 hours. And helper will also work for 40 hours. That means 8 hours every resource is working. Mason will also work 8 hours per day. And helper will also work 8 hours per day. Okay. Now I am just deleting this helper resource from here. And now I am moving on to the second case. The second case is I am just uh, increasing the units to 200%. See if I increase the units to 200%. That means your units will be two. Your work will remain fixed. What will happen to the duration we need to see. So if you go to the formula, work will remain 80, units is 20. So the duration will reduce again simple. I am increasing the units. So the duration has now reduced to five days. Okay. Now moving on to the third case, wherein I am... Uh, increasing the duration to 20 days. See, if I increase the duration to 20 days, what will happen? Units will still be 1. Duration is 20 days. So 20 multiplied by 1. So work will become 160 hours. But will it become? Because it is a fixed kind of activity, no? So nothing will change. You see, I am increasing the duration. I am making it 20. And I am going back to it. So nothing has changed because it is a kind of fixed work type type of task okay now moving on to the last case which is increasing the work itself so if i increase the work units will remain same so the duration will simply change no work is 160 work is becoming 160 now units is still one so duration will double that's it so i'll increase the work to 160 and I'm clicking on OK. So the duration has become 20 days. So this is all about yeah, your task type in Microsoft project. Now, after this, we are ready to assign our resources to the activities. But one more topic is remaining, which is your effort driven. So you see there is one effort driven box here. So this topic is only remaining. So thank you all for watching. Goodbye.